Hey, Rani here. Should we play a game? We are returning to Dino Crisis 2 for part 2. Last time we were utterly bewildered by its seeming abandonment of the entire tension angle, I guess. And the fact it's apparently now an arcade shooter, so let's get on with that. Hey, how's it going? Right. So, I realised after ending the stream last time, I walked completely the wrong way. <laughs> let's just make sure that we've, we're all set up. So we're slowly building up the score we can use to buy that really powerful looking weapon. Let's check our ammunition. Yeah, let's just top that up. Hey, how's it going? Got some ammo. Yep, good, good, good. Let's check our recovery items. Oh, I don't have many of those. Let's grab a couple of hemostats. It's crazy to me how cheap items are in this game. And some med packs. Yep, no problem. Right. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I went to the wrong base. Oh, there's a new Ch Texas Chainsaw game, I didn't realise. Um, I'm have to have a look at that. Yeah, I'm, I'm good, thanks. Wait, could I hear them through the door? Or is that just the drum beat? I'm not really sure. <laughs> yeah, one, one of the things that's kind of... Oh, 3 versus 4. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Yeah, so one of the things that's really strange about this game is that, um, despite the fact it looks like a Resident Evil game if you squint a bit, um, it's uh, really not. In fact, um, Rather than avoiding enemies, you actually want to engage with them in this game, because that's how you get money to spend on items. I'm not going to engage with these guys though, these guys are jerks. Get off me! Hey! Hey, get off me jerk! Get off! And now I'm bleeding, I need to fix that quick. So when you say 3 versus 4, how does that work? I mean, is that 3 killers versus 4 survivors, or...? Something a bit different. <laughs> ah! Get up! Oh really? I'm bleeding again already? See, I wouldn't normally fight the monsters in this game, but I found last time these guys just were really hard to hit because the characters won't aim up. Oh, okay. See, yeah, that's... That's pretty unusual. I guess balancing that must be quite different. Maybe there's, um... Because usually they give the killer tons of powers, right? I'm guessing they haven't done... They haven't done quite as much of that. Thanks for looking away from the actual monsters. Appreciate that. Okay. Um... It doesn't look like I started bleeding, so I can choose a medium pack. Ah, so yeah, so this is an asymmetric team. That is kind of interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a game do that. Actually, thinking about it, that sounds almost kind of like if there was a... the original plan for Halo, which was the, um, kind of the idea of, like, uh, Covenant versus Humans. I don't know if that was going to spill over into multiplayer, but I know that the single player looked more like an RTS. Right, am I going the right way here? Mm, yeah, I just, need to keep, I just need to keep moving. I think. Let me just check. Yeah, I want to go east from here. Okay. Oh, that is interesting. Yeah, they've, they've really made them quite diverse for the sounds of it, rather than just being, you know... Ah! different kinds of explosion or something. Right, now I want to go the correct way here. This is where I messed up last time. Um, there. Ah, cool. So, um, almost like, um, the Friday the 13th game, I'd really like to know how many options there were for escaping. 
know, you could fix the car up, or you could, um, I believe the police could turn up, I think that was another option. Let's top up on some items, give them just waste a ton of them. Ah, that would make sense, because didn't they lose the rights to keep um, extending the game or something? Which is a real shame, because I thought they did a really good job. It was a bit junk in places, but it generally worked. Oh, I forgot about the boat, so yeah. And I don't think I've ever seen someone kill Jason, that's... <laughs> It sounds, it sounds like a tall order, although I'm guessing it must be like it's a very situational, right? It's not just a matter of just doing enough damage to kill it. It's just a more enjoyable thing. Oh, I wish I could say that was a sick dodge, but honestly it was completely accidental. Something I didn't read in the manual earlier is that there is actually a dedicated button to switch target, which I should be using. Yeah, is it always coming with movie references? You know, like, um, you have to kill them until you do in the movies. That would make a lot of sense. Hey, welcome back. This is very much the anti-Resident Evil, despite the fact it's built by a, a, an adjacent team, not the same team. And it's fixed camera angles, it's nothing for Resident Evil. Come on, dude! Let's recover a bit because we're low on health. That is a lot of steps. Yeah, I, I can see why I've never seen that happen. My forever imprisonment. Um, I get that occasionally. This isn't quite a you know, an MS <laughs> MS uh, free uh, MS. Ah! You know what I meant. <laughs> the one where they keep recirculating the tapes. Oh, steady on. Steady on. Get up, get up. Naturally, that sounds pretty believable. Why is the music so chill in this game? It's not the kind of thing you'd expect to be in the background, the convenience store. Okay, I think it's this way. Hey! Get off me! Okay, I'm bleeding. I need to use a large. Yeah, it really does. Um, the game is a bit silly. I mean, especially compared to the first one. The first one's a really competent, sort of spooky, tightly crafted. Um, well, it's basically Resident Evil dinosaurs. This is. This is not. This is a uh, <laughs> running gun shooter with fixed camera. Can't trap a ghost. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, this is the place where the gigantic dinosaur is in the air, so let's keep moving. Oh, there he is! Actually, that's it. I think I can kill these, because I think I killed them. Now, you might think you'd be safe up on the side, but they're actually pretty mobile, they can jump pretty high. I have a weak spot on the side where if you shoot them, it does a ton of damage. I think it's got some points with that. But um, they can actually turn pretty quickly, and the actual kind of like underhood facing angle isn't necessarily the one you can see. I don't know if these big ones respawn. The smaller ones are basically infinitely respawning. You can sometimes. Um... <laughs> It does, it does. Yeah, in, in a way that the uh, ones in Tomb Raider really did. I think in Tomb Raider it was meant to be that they were kind of like, you know, almost sort of like a, I think the Lost Valley, right? So it was meant to be kind of like a part of the world that just had gotten disconnected from the rest. Ah! Before we could sneak past. Get to recover. Fine. This 
There's definitely skills to this game, definitely. It's not like they've, you know, they've not removed the skill elements of it by making it so over the top. Ah, there we go. But it's definitely very, very, very differently structured to the first game. Okay, I believe this is where we're supposed to be going. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot faster. For instance, there's no run button in this game. You're basically just always running. Also, uh, the melee weapons in this game actually make sense. Uh, the, one of the two protagonists has a stun gun, which is actually really powerful. And the game has sort of two protagonists, and each one has different um, sort of... Hmm, I don't think what the best way to describe them is like my ability options. So this guy can um, this guy can open up um, web defenses like this one here. Whereas uh, Regina, who returns from the first game, has a stun gun that can open electronic locks. Okay. Oh, it's the tiny dinosaurs have returned. So we're not that far from a save point. This looks like a certain room in Jurassic Park, doesn't this? Okay, we can't cross that way. They actually seem pretty well, um, low, pretty equal. Ah, uh, this must be one Ah, okay. What is this music? It does not fit at all. <laughs> Indeed. Wait, did that one just jump through the window backwards? What was that? Oh, I need the right key. Oh wait, I've got it. I have the exact item. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> I know I should be killing them, I'm just getting to the save point. Which is... That's a good point, maybe they're... <laughs> Asymmetric game design, maybe they're just playing Tony Hawk. Now one of the things is, this map almost kind of has a hierarchy to it, it's a bit strange. Wait, which way am I going here? Oh, I'm walking away from the save point. Okay, right. I got disoriented. I've heard things about the Trails games. It's quiet in here. Why has it suddenly gone quiet? This bodes poorly. Yeah, the, um, the graphics in this game are really, really good. It's one of the best looking PlayStation 1 games I've ever seen. The character models are so well put together. Well, I I'd argue it's a very good idea to, dis to uh, disturb it, Dylan. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, what's this? Okay, right, so they were looking to go to a missile silo to get some equipment for the time gate experiment, so presumably we need to go there too. Man, I see lots of eggs. Okay, I have one I have one round left in my shotgun. Something tells me that's not gonna go very far. I'm starting to see the value of that capacity. Oh apparently this is a save room. Um I'm starting to see the value of those capacity upgrades and I might be over one. 
That said, if there's anything with splash damage, I bet that's really good for getting combos, which is how you get um, bonus points in this game. <laughs> Tiny magpie dinosaurs. Oh god. <laughs> Ah, okay. They are magpie dinosaurs. Okay, so we might have a sort of puzzle coming up by the sounds of it, where you have to pin the dinosaurs down in the room. Let's top up on all those items I just uh, wasted. Um, yep. I feel they got, kind of got it wrong in that um, a large health pack is basically a medium plus a hemostat put together. The fact that's more expensive than the two in, bought individually, because it's less flexible, you can't use them at different times, it should actually be cheaper, right? Why would buying one tool that does both be more expensive? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's upgrade the capacity on this. Um, I guess you might as well go for the full. I mean, well, actually, we've got a lot of money. Maybe we could buy the other, the other weapon over here. Oh, we're just short of enough money to grab it. Oh, dear. Y yeah, maybe you should get a plumber in on that. Oh, wait, we can buy items in here. Inner suit, or is that extra? Okay, these are all quite expensive, but um, they look quite useful. Oh, I sh should have saved all those in there. So yeah, I'm wondering if I maybe have to push um, boxes in front of all the small holes I see in the walls to stop them moving around. So this, this here, I'm pretty sure that's how they're getting around. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can find a few more. Who left all these open? Actually, is there something in that one that's lit up green? Yay, a dino file! What have we got? A compose... A compsign... Compsignatious. Yeah, there you go, that's my best attempt. Okay, tiny, no threat to humans typically. Right, okay. So maybe maybe there's one running around somewhere with, with an item or something that I need. I need to pin it down by closing all the vents. Okay, let's move on. At some point, this is going to need me to backtrack and get a different coloured key out of that other research lab. I just know it. Hey, that's mine. Oh no. <laughs> Oh man, I can't get mad at the dinosaur though, that was adorable. Oh! Did I forget to refill an ammo? Oops. Yeah, good point, I forgot to refill an ammo. Well, I'll go back in and refill. 
<laughs> oh, I didn't close that one. Oh, hang on, I wonder if closing one opens the other, because, you know, the room requires ventilation. That's certainly a possibility. Oh, and something you can only open from one side. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go fill up on ammo. Now it's been pointed out to me that I have no ammo. I got distracted by the um, ammo upgrade options. <laughs> Again, I nearly went down the wrong options. There we go. Damn, a thousand points. You're right, it does. This game's soundtrack is really strange. It feels like it came from a different genre entirely. Well, in fact, the whole game feels like it came from a different genre entirely. Okay, let's see if we can pin down that tiny, tiny, naughty, thieving dinosaur. I wonder what it tastes like. Wait, you can move while aiming in this game. What? I I, I only just found this out. It, it never even occurred to me to try it until now. But you can. Wait, is that nice inside that Oops. Ah! Ah, found you. Wait, wait. A uh, new SNES game. Get back here! <laughs> 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 this is so goofy, I love it. I don't think I can hit him with a gun because, um, well, he just can't for some reason. I've trapped him in the room. Maybe I'm meant to trap him in a different room. Uh, I am very confused, you're right. Oh, I'm actually trapped in here entirely because I can't use that. I need to put him in the cage! Oh, it's so obvious. It's so obvious. Okay. Right, okay, okay, right. I need to go chase him into the room with the cages and then from there, I don't know. Let's have a look. So we've got the ventilation hole there. This is the one we probably want to um, chase him through. Hey, if the year is 1999 and I stand to make a lot of money on Apple stocks. came out a long, lot longer ago than that, if you're talking about the NES original. Ah, there we go. We went inside, good. Good, 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 good. But we can only operate the locks from one side, so... Can't let's uh, shut them in there with the... Uh... Oh wait, is there a door from here into there? We can't just shut them in there from this side, we have to... get inside the room with it, and shut it in there, without startling it, probably.
<laughs> I hear it's good. Okay, so I'm guessing we've locked it in this room somewhere. And there it is. Right, you. Get in the cage. Get in the cage. Go on. In the cage. There's a good chicken. In <laughs> Okay, it's AI is actually a bit different in this room. It basically seems to um, try and keep a constant distance from you. So if I stand here, it should try and pop out the other side. Okay. Oh, that's it. That's good. That's right where we want him. Okay. So in the cage. Yes! <laughs> The game does have puzzles, it's just not quite the same as you might expect. Oh, I hope the dinosaur's okay. Right, let's top up on ammo before we get out of here. Every time I go to the wrong menu option, why do I do that? <laughs> I should play a Metroid at some point. That uh, remaster Prime looks pretty good. Ah! Oh, a combo! That sounds pretty good. Okay, let's open this door. I swear if another chicken you know, jumps from the ceiling and stops me from <laughs> getting through. Right, let's top up on health a bit before we go through because we're not low, but we're far from high. Okay. I know, right? What? Didn't anyone try pronouncing that out loud? Oh, is that a person in the tank? That's spooky. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, a starter battery. Ah. Okay, so time loop stuff was going on here and people were kind of cross-contaminating timelines. Oh, that's the people who like throw the darts and stuff from the uh, first session out of this. Okay. So what are we going to do with a starter battery? Oh, I bet we put the starter battery in the boat. So we're looking for um, replacement parts for it, weren't we? Because uh, got vandalized. Oh! Get yeah, off me. He messed that before I bleed out. Yeah, so the counter thing that shows up, it literally just means that you use the knife, you um, attack someone right as they're attacking you. That's, that's all it means, it doesn't mean anything else. I believe you get a small bonus for it, but I don't think it's that much. So you can't move while you're firing, but you can move while you're aiming. That's kind of strange, but okay. Whoa, did that guy just do like a flying kick at me? He's been giving these dinosaurs combat training, damn.
Okay, I believe there's a safe point down here. Oh! Although it might be for a door we can't get through. Is it through here? We might be able to buy that more advanced weapon there. Yeah, here it is. Okay, let's buy a big gun. It destroys cells by way of vibration. That's an interesting way of saying fires bullets. Okay. Items that we're missing recovery wise. The um the uh, medpack S actually does do quite a bit of recovery. It's, it seems like it does more than half of the medpack M. And it costs way less than half. Indeed. Let's put this on, shall we? Oh okay, yeah, and I should probably actually, you know, save because we've just finished the segment. No, it's a save terminal, Dylan. Thank you. Okay, so I guess we go back to the boat now, which is actually quite a distance from here. Look at the map. Yeah, so we're down in the research facility, so we just sort of head east out of here, I guess. But there is a locked door between us and them. I wonder if we can open it from the other side. Let's find out. Let's see what kind of damage this thing can do. Oh! It's a melee weapon. Okay. That's not what I expected, but okay. And okay, it's probably really good at um, attacking the targets at once, given it feels like a pulse behind in the air, but it looks quite tr tricky to aim. So if I stand kind of here. Yeah, we can hit two of them quite easily with one shot. Okay. Bit tricky to use, but I definitely see what they're going for there. Right, and then we're heading north from here, and then take a right, which takes east. Welcome back. This guy just respawned. I figured these guys were going to be more like bosses, and they wouldn't come back. Let's uh, let's try the big gun on this guy. Oh, did not like that. Oh, I see. It actually hits the weak point really easily because it's so big. Ah! Um, I didn't break timelines. The game is full of broken timelines. Okay. Ah! I thought I could sneak down the side. Whoa, whoa, these guys are really mobile. Ah! Well, certainly, but I'm proving that for plenty. Ah, okay. This thing really is broken on these things. <laughs> okay. Lesson learned. Spam. <laughs> right, so how much ammo do we have left for this thing? More than half. Okay. <laughs> in the wide open areas it probably makes more sense to use the shotgun just because they have more range but you're even personal with a big bad like that it's pretty powerful I did yeah I wasn't quite sure if that was because of the weapon choice or maybe because I took a lot of damage but you still get plenty of points for hitting the weak spots so it probably works out Have you been talking to ChatGPT again? 
Oh, it says it was a sick dodge, but honestly, I had no idea it was even happening. Yeah, so I'm guessing we're going to put the starter battery in the ship and the ship can tell us more or something, I don't know. Steady, easy, easy, easy. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, the the, the um, small health recovery. Since it's a small health recovery, I don't really know why. I'm going to stop down the big ones. There's no point. Especially the race I go for. Oh, is this the bridge itself? Oh no, it's fine. Oh, oh dear. I've definitely not been here before. Oh yeah, this game has extra lives, much like the first one. Although you don't really need it in, in this game. Ah! Uh, can I switch character? Is that a thing I can do? Mm, doesn't look like I can do it at will. So I have to take the long way, long way back. It's better be where I'm supposed to take it. See, I could have gone through there as um, Regina. Well, I took the long way around when I was playing as her as well because I didn't know that, didn't know that option was there. Ah! Oh, dude, move! Hmm, they're all kind of jumping out of sync, meaning I didn't really have a safe opportunity to turn around. I was going to get jumped by at least one of them. There's something I need to do a bit with crowd control. Using a hologram system right now? Okay. Yeah, left. Okay. <laughs> it's easy to get lost in this place because it's all trees and grey boxes. <laughs> it definitely has the Resident Evil 1.5 problem. It's kind of weird how, like, once you clear that poison area, it's just no longer a problem. Like, it's never even, yeah, they don't even regrow or anything. Given the dinosaurs keep growing back, you think the plants would be able to, too. Did this go anywhere? I don't think I ever checked. Okay, yeah, we have another gas mask yet. Let's get one of those later, I guess. Really, bro? At least we're getting plenty of points. <laughs> I like how in um, Shadows of Doubt they call the computers crunchers. Um, they're meant to be you know, short for number cruncher. But um, because they're all sort of like 1970s, 1980s computers, they make crunching noises, and I thought that was actually a really good touch. Oh, these guys are actually really weak. When they introduced them in the cutscene, I was expecting them to be a bit more tanky than this. Okay. Yeah, the noise, the, 
the sounds I've chosen are a bit strange. I guess there's only so many uh, dinosaur roars you can find right in your um, off-the-shelf sound pack that they would have been using for something like this. Okay, right around the corner from save points we can stop up. Okay, so it's a good thing they can't use doors. Yes. Well, we had that one that could go through holes in the wall. Okay, time to stock up a lot. We're definitely on an upward trajectory of our, um, our wealth. So that's good. I might buy this and see what it's like. Oh, okay. A firewall. Okay, let's give that a go. It's definitely worth buying everything and trying it out, I guess, if, you, if you've got the cash for it. Oh, why did I buy another Hamus? I already have one. Oh. Anyway. Guess you can never have enough of them. And let's top up our ammo. Click save. I will say this, these menus are way less confusing than the ones in the first game. The only time I've got confused is when I was literally presented plain information and somehow failed to understand it. Okay. Yeah, so I guess we're going all the way back along there, back to the patrol ship. <laughs> I might play Pe Pepsi Man on the days because it looks so bizarre. Can I climb this? Oh, I can't climb this. Oh. Oh, I'll go up here, okay. So I wonder how many assets they reused from the previous game on this, because it all looks fresh and original. It nothing looks so good. I'm very glad ammo is cheap, given how many things there are. Imagine this, imagine this number of enemies if it was like Resident Evil. Yeah, fortunately, unfortunately, I've already got the um, <laughs> I've already got the AOL CD in, so I couldn't put it in. Um, this is an emulated PlayStation One. I, I didn't know this. If this does have a PC port, I didn't know, but I don't think it does. Come on. Oh, oh. The game is a really good, it's really good looking for a PlayStation 1 game. The character models and the, um, especially up close and cutscenes are fantastic. It's got, it's got a lot of backgrounds. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, let's top up with a small health pack. Good. Alright. So I did, I did do a bit of reading on this game, um, just trying to get an idea of exactly how the various systems work. And um, one of the things I did find out is that um, if, you, if you get a high enough combo, it actually um, starts monster spawning in that area for quite some time. But it's, I think it's something like a 20 combo, which seems pretty unlikely. I didn't even know the game could have any enemies for that time. Maybe in some other areas. The uh, points are a very good um, kill control, actually. It makes it uh, resolve the ambiguity as to whether you hit them or not. Damn, I'm getting destroyed. This game's easy. How am I getting, how am I getting destroyed like this?
Any more dinosaurs? You must be running out by now. God damn. How is this much? <laughs> Slight adjustment. Um. How are this many dinosaurs? I mean, this is a lot of protein I'm putting down right now. Okay, we're almost back. Yeah, I think that flashing door is the one we can cut down with the knife. But yeah, um, what I was saying was the um, the score is actually a really good um, sort of kill indication. You don't really get that problem as much as you do in Resident Evil where you're not quite sure if you can be dead or not. Well, you could say it's a problem, but it's almost part of the design, I guess. Whoa! I guess I'll spend it, just to be sure. Oh, there's the door. Oh, actually, the combo meter stays up for quite a while. I bet I could actually... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> right, so yeah. Yeah, the combo meter stays up quite a while. I can see how you would hit 20. I thought it was a bit more um, quick to reset than that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Am I this close to where I want to be and I have to go all... Oh, okay. So this, the starting room you really can't get out of. Yeah, okay. All right, okay. I wonder if you can follow Regina the other way at the very start of the game. Okay, I need to keep moving because my ammo is getting a bit low. Oh, it's that door there. Where you at? Where you at? There you are. Oh, got a third one, didn't even see it. Now, I think there's a big blue dinosaur here. Oh, hello. <laughs> Ladder cancel. You know, if these dinosaurs were truly intelligent, they would um, be ripping these ladders up to pen me in. There's a reason you guys went extinct. Oh my goodness, ah! <laughs> oh, actually, I wonder if the flame launch is any good. This is really effective, that's all I use it anyway. Man, that completely breaks that monster. <laughs> I know you get like marginally fewer points, but it is so much easier to win that fight with that weapon that it doesn't really even matter. Uh, it'd be nice if the doors stayed unlocked after you use them, the um, protagonist abilities to unlock them, but unfortunately they don't. Right, let's see if we can do something with the starter battery in here. Oh, must be right, we're playing a cutscene. She's gone. Uh, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> you know what else is weird? I've checked the stats on all the residents and soldiers, but I couldn't find any profile fitting her description. It's like she doesn't exist. Well, I was thinking, 
Maybe she's not one of the survivors at all. What if those helmet people are from a completely different time than ours? What? Uh, never mind. We found parts that might help fix the ship. But what matters now is we still haven't found any survivors or helpful data, so we must move on and search elsewhere. This control panel is programmed to search for the areas where we can dock. Use it. Right. Right, yes. So yeah, as I thought, we used that to power up the ship, and now we can do something with it. Oh, okay. So we get a choice of destination, by the looks of it. I was going to say before I do that, though, just in case one of them ends up taking a straight into a boss fight or something, this was the late 90s, but still the 90s, and nonsense like that still happened. I like the, uh... <laughs> Look, I will not repeat my prompt. <laughs> this was the late 90s, so ni nonsense was still a thing that can happen quite easily. Um, I've got plenty of hemostats. stats, let's top up on mediums. Oh, I forgot to save! Ah! Okay, let's press some buttons and see what happens. Let's go to Edward City and see what's going on over there. We're surrounded. Don't worry, I'll take care of this. Okay. Let's go take care of this. Shoot the enemies with the machine gun, hell yeah. Oh! A light gun shooter section. Oh! Ah! Okay. Do we have any kind of like, doesn't it look like we have any kind of like limits on them? This is unexpected. Oh, that's a lot of them. Ah! Get out of there, you fuck. Hey, not so close, not so close. <laughs> well, it's a dinosaur hydra, isn't that believable? Correct. Ah! Oh, they're not the flying ones too. How much ammunition did we bring on this peaceful mission? This is a very different game to the first. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's a very different game. There. Keep it up. Oh, hello. Ah! How many dinosaurs are on this damn island? Is this what uh, the world was like before? Yeah, you know, humans. What did all these dinosaurs eat? Apparently boats, but with that many boats they could sustain themselves? Okay, that's gotta be nearly all of them, right? <laughs> yes, yes, I'm sure we are actually the cause of the extinction of the dinosaurs. You know that's going to... Damn, 1,300 points! Whoa! And now we're Regina for some reason. Okay. <laughs> ah, 
that. Oh, okay, we can buy all sorts of shiny new things. Oh, <gasps> a rocket launcher. Oh, I want that, but it's 50,000 points. Dual wielding SMGs does sound pretty good. Does sound pretty good. I should probably be buying these. What is that? Oh, uh, that might be useful. What's this? Mm. I never bleed again? That does sound really useful. How many how many hemostats will they have to buy to pay that to pay that off? Right, I'd have to buy two hundred hemostats to pay that off. I don't know if I can really justify that. I don't think I'm going to be buying 200 hemostats over the course of the game. If it was more like, you know, 5,000 maybe, but that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's a lot. And that's also a lot of money, I mean, like, how much more money am I going to get by sending my combo slightly? Probably not 20,000 over the course of the whole game, right? Um... Let's go for the submachine guns. Shoot while running. Sounds good to me. So, um, uh, Regina only had a pistol up until now and it was actually quite weak. Okay, let's have a bit of a look around that side. So yeah, this, this game is actually really big in terms of just the amount of rooms and the amount of terrain you can cover. We even got different camera angles here. Hello. Let's just try to start from the areas we can, okay? Oh, I thought that was going to swap protagonists. Okay, there's nothing over here. Cool. Why don't we take the jeep? Seems kind of useful. Let's see the dinosaurs eat that. Although they were going to try with the bike, with the sorry, the boat. So. Okay. Well, this city has definitely been here a while. There's rust, there's cracks in the concrete. Okay, no power there. Okay, no crane puzzles for me. Anything in here? Anything else in here? Oh, uh, it didn't have a shop. Um, it had these um, kind of plug stations where you could exchange um, items for access to kind of like um, item caches. And then you could combine items to make bigger items. So actually that seems to be missing from this game. Let me check. Can, can you combine recovery items in this? No. Yeah, so it had this really interesting system where you could combine weaker items to make stronger items. Seems to be missing. I guess given how cheap it is to buy items in general, it doesn't really make any sense to have such a mechanic. Okay, maybe I'm meant to go to the first uh, NG lab first. So they, give, they give me a choice. I'm assuming you can power this place from the third energy lab, so let's have a look. This might mean another shooter section. Oh, we just got there without incidents, apparently. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Dinosaurs be like, oh, it's only a short trip. We can't be, bo we can't be bothered to attack them. Should probably equip those machine guns. Hmm. 
Let's have a look. Badass! <laughs> yeah, have a, have a good night. Oh, I got bonus points for taking their damage, which is actually really easy there, given that they're kind of behind the fence. Man, this is a really good place to farm points, actually. This is a bit, a bit of a joke, actually. I didn't even able to get harder as it goes on. Oh yeah, I never saw that, but you're completely right. Oh my god, we poked the T-Rex in the eye and now it's dead. Oh god, there's just so many connections. Damn, 10,000 points, whoa! Well, I know where they go if I need money. Damn. And another 10,000 on top of that. Whoa! What the heck? See, by comparison, these guys are absolute tanks. Hard to aim at, and they do tons of damage. I really should. I'm, I'm, I'm going to next time I go to a... Uh, <laughs> next time I get to a save point. Whoa! You're big. Whoa, whoa, steady on, steady on. How's the map looking? That's a good point. They probably saved a ton of polygons by putting their legs in the water. Uh, this looks locked too, okay. Maybe I can stun this. Oh, actually, he has a card of some kind. Keep moving. What do we have? Ah, they were under attack by the Power Rangers as well. Ah, okay, he dropped a key. Ah, there's a key somewhere in there. So the game wants us to backtrack again. Okay, fair enough. Oh, of course you can move with, the, with these, so I can just... Man, these kind of break the game, honestly. <laughs> oh, she wouldn't use the sub weapon. Um, I've got tons of ammo as well. I'm really, really, really not holding back here, and it's, it seems to be going fine for me. Ah, uh, but I can't use the stun gun and that at the same time. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, this needs a key. Okay, right. Ah. Uh, so we need to go back to the spring and get the key from there. Okay, let's go back to the boat and then probably finish up there. I want to switch back to my far superior weapon first though. These are so broken. An attempt to balance was made and it was honestly pretty balanced for the first segment. You know, for a much more arcade focused sort of Resident Evil style experience. And then they went, yeah, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh dear. You tried, guys, you tried. I mean, technically the game's a pretty solid achievement. Yeah, but the thing is, it doesn't really cost you any time to swap the mouse. So... And you don't generally use the side weapon anyway, because they're not actually very good, generally speaking. Let me just find some points here. I mean, at least um, Regina's uh, weapon is... Uh, her side weapon has quite a bit of range, which I can't say about uh, Dylan's. Correct me if I'm wrong, aren't these herbivores? Damn, that is, that is so broken. Yeah, let's go spend some of that money and then probably finish up. Okay. Well, probably not with Regina around anyway. Damn, I could buy the rocket launcher! L later, later, we'll come back for that, we'll come back for that. We're gonna get all the uh, bonuses over here first. <laughs> yeah, let's charge this one up as well. Is this quite expensive to reload? Not really, not really. Damn. Did they even try to balance these? Well, and like we've just established they have, but but were they actually were they actually trying though? Were they? Anyway. Well, that was some nonsense. Maybe I should, yeah. Although, honestly, I see, I see myself using the logic for farming. That was a thing. Next time, I guess we'll be going back out there to farm a bit more and buy the rocket launcher because I want to give that a try. You can, yeah. Um, and then I guess we're going back to the starting area to go look for a keycard in the waterfall. Same time tomorrow. Have a great evening. I'll see you then.